Hey, what's up, guys? Um, we we are back with another uh, two K twenty story mode. We just had an error, so there was a cutscene with Red that you guys are gonna miss. It was just her congratulating Trey on getting the movie part, and uh, yeah, let's get this started. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Mm. Well, while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top. Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> not even close. You're right. It's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, Beating me is not even on your list, as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Woo! Yeah, we'll play the match. We've heard coming into this match that Charlotte has felt disrespected by Red, especially considering Red did not put beating Charlotte on her list. Well, the list has proven to be a great motivational tool for Red and Trey, but now we've seen its potential downside. It's provoked Red's opponent tonight, who's already imposing enough without extra motivation. It's kind of similar to bulletin board material in sports, when a player talks trash and provides some extra incentive for their opponent. What would you know about... Whoa, impressive! You could say that again. I never thought you'd break free from that one. And it's Charlotte with a reversal! There's a reason why she's genetically superior. Charlotte Flair's natural ability in the ring is second to none. Look at this! This display of acrobatics is simply remarkable. Uh-oh. And a suplex! Guess what? A running swanton! Nothing's gonna stop her now. Yeah, she's a little bundle of energy right now. Charlotte not in a great way here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Here's Charlotte. The queen is showing why she is genetically superior. One for the championship. Before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Eludes the attack. There it comes. The champion is in serious jeopardy here tonight. I don't think I've ever seen a more determined challenger. Oh, that's the impact. The champ to the top. Oh, look out. Wee. Charlotte with a nice oh. reversal. Setting up. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. My turn. Great counter. Impressive. Uh-oh. Good night. Here we go 
again. Whoa! And Charlotte was able to oh, get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Spear! Man, earth shattering. Come on, the challenger! And she kicks out. And we continue. Think we know what's Indeed. coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Charlotte with a fantastic counterattack. That's why she's the queen. The champ's taking an immense amount of... The queen looking to no. finish things off. Here's the figure four. Uh-oh, uh in the clutches. Charlotte Flair can take... Nope, not happening. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. The running Meteora. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Changes her fortune there. Nice half kick. Great elevation. A running swanton. All right, come on. Let's finish this. No. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Here's the pin. Title on the line. I don't know how she keeps kicking out. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Bringing it back between the ropes. Look at this. Boom, nice. She's taking charge here. Yeah, something lit a fire under her, and she is going strong. Wow. I can't believe it. I hate to question her, Cole, but that was just plain silly. Why would you do that at this point in the match? Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look out! From the top row, nice. diving clothesline! Two! Three! Charlotte with a nice reversal. Ah, uh, Charlotte, so impressive, nope. so powerful. Just malicious. A running swanton. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Oh no. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed. Over. The championship. Two, three. The what did I tell you good. guys? You can see where Charlotte fell short of her legacy. She was amazing all match long. Flawless technique, relentless attacks, and she brought it still. all night long. Tough to top that one, folks. Champion, we were lucky to be here to queen. witness a match filled with technical prowess, amazing moves, and seemingly non-stop action. And she gets the job done. Very impressive. That'll knock Charlotte. Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. 
Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow. Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> Really? Because that's not how I remember it. Check it out! My first action figure! Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail on your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's like even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I would team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure, stupid plastic butts! Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. <laughs> WWE superstars end up facing each other in the ring for a variety of reasons. Tonight, Red and Trey are squaring off with Rusev and Lana because of, well, action figures. Well, from what I hear, Trey was throwing a tantrum because he didn't get an action figure and then was apparently offended when Rusev and Lana tried to graciously give him theirs. Hey, I can relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I going to get my own action figure? Never. Never ever, because nobody wants that, Saxton. And what a reversal from Rusev. Rusev showing such creativity. Ouch. Ooh, ouch. No, please. I beg of you. Don't beat me up. Oh. Ah. It's pretty obvious that by the way that Rusev applied the accolade, our true American hero is looking to do a lot more than win the match. Rusev wants to seriously injure his opponents, each and every one of them. Tagged in. Nice half kick, great elevation. Wow, a running swanton! Textbook vertical suple, bam! Rusev is tagged in. The running mini. 
graphics are absolutely astounding. He's taking it up top. Incoming. Harsh impact. The mighty Rusev Ooh. looking a bit surprised by this assault. Oh, again! The referee really has to be on his game here in this mixed tag team match. Lana is a cold, callous individual who looks to eviscerate anyone who interferes in her business or the business of her husband, the Bulgarian brute, Rusev. Uh-oh. What? Oh. Stomping. Ouch. Ah, oh, kick right to the gut. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Lana's mind for sports entertainment is second to none. Here we go. And what a reversal for Rusev. Escapes in a nick of time. Look out. That's one way to show your opponent you mean business. He weaves out of the way. Uh oh. Whoa, oh, are you oh kidding me? Back of his neck. In off the tag. Whoa, not able to avoid damage. She's in control. And down with the suplex. Oh, she turns it around. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. She's ready for something big. All the way for the top. You're awesome. not going to get her that easy. So resourceful. try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing. Uh oh A game-ending move. Checkmate. Lana's just getting overwhelmed. And that's the tag to Rusev. And you know what's next, guys? And I think, yeah, yeah, shoulders down. Is it enough? Mixed tag match. Here are your winners. Huge victory here tonight. What do we know about these two? Do they travel together? Their teamwork tonight makes me think they spend a great deal of time together. I think I can safely Ooh. speak for all of us when I say he that won. was an amazing contest. In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! 
Stand up and take a bow, Mickey. You deserve it. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it. It hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting-edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No! You can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Well, what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your host, The Iconics. We just said iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why Australia, Australia is better. better. This is the part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one, a cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law, one of my favorites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? red and gray <laughs> because mickey's so old get it hilarious she really is a fossil you've never even teamed before so what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles maybe because eight years ago in calgary i beat you in my very first match and i've only gotten better since then way better Oh, okay, so you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, 
when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three, never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Ooh, Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated law three. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. Is joining us. This is a nine title match with the stipulation that if Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics, they earn a shot at their tag team titles. However, if the Iconics win, Mickey James' career will be over. And Red and Mickey are clearly not 100% after that brutal attack by the Iconics. Look, no one wants to see a pioneer like Mickey James' her career come to an end, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling it'll be sooner. As in tonight, at the hands of the tag team champions. Hooked up and oh, backdrop suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. Ouch. Uh-oh. High angle belly to back suplex. She is just dominant right now. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. Looking bad for her here. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good... Oh, look out! Wow, what unbelievable action. Born in Australia, Peyton Royce's path to WWE saw her travel many miles, including a stop in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where, like many before her, Peyton honed her craft before ultimately joining WWE. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Gets the tag. Corey, Byron did allude to Peyton Royce's training in Canada. Yeah, she's a product of your best friend Lance Storm, and that's one of the reasons why Peyton is so good in the ring. I'm just glad Storm's personality didn't rub off on her during training. She came here to fight, not lay down. Here she goes. Whoa! Diving splash from the top. Incredible impact. And the shoulder's up in time. Just power out. What athleticism. the side rushing leg sweep right. absolutely has to make a tag here yeah but that's easier said than done michael looks like we're gonna get the tag i think you're right michael able to get the tag man what a slam when you talk about great tag teams we can go all the way back to teams like the tolo brothers stevens and patterson stevens and bockwinkle the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjack. Here we go. Royce was able to get out of the way there. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Comes in off the tag. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Snap suplex. Spin kick. All measured up. Truck with precision. Going to the top, high risk. Come on. Oh, again! It's 
it's obvious Billy Kay is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. She's got nothing left, guys. If she doesn't make a tag soon, this match is over. It could be over here. Nope. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Corey, what do you think of this decision? I like it a lot, Cole. She clearly wants to inflict even more punishment here. Keep your eyes on this one. All right, come Open on. The pen. Two. She just will not go away. Will this be it? Yeah. And the victory. Here are your winners. And she picks up the win. These women make an almost unstoppable pairing, Michael. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory. That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter. We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag, or willy willy tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes, you know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> That's not nice. You have to believe the Iconics have a major advantage here tonight at Super Showdown. Competing in front of their home country fans in an Australian Rules Tag Team Championship match. And don't forget, Red and Mickey have the added pressure of Mickey's career being on the line. If they lose, this chapter of Mickey's life is officially over. That's all true, but we shouldn't ignore the fact that Red has added win women's tag team championships with Mickey James to her list. And she has a very successful track record when it comes to achieving her goals. From the top, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. We Back suplex. Missile drop kick finds its mark. Cross body. Hurricane. Peyton Royce was able to get out of the way there. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Hooked him up. And she's back in the ring now. Kick from behind. Ooh, ouch. She's taken to the floor when she can be ever so dangerous. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh, very nice. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Lands face first. This doesn't look good. She's in full control now. Oh, again. 
Red goes for the Irish whip, but gets sent into the corner instead. And now here come the Iconics, pouring it on in front of their home crowd. This does not look good for Red and Mickey, and by extension, Mickey's career. What are the Iconics doing? Oh, I think it's time for a game of cricket. Oh, no. Red and Mickey have other plans. This is a bit of revenge for what took place before their match on SmackDown Live. And since Australian rules is no disqualification, it's perfectly legal. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. And the champ taking their share of hits now. And now she gets it for a second time. Third time's a charm, Cole. Remember that as this match goes on. Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, guys. I'd say she has already accomplished a great deal, including being named the 2016 NXT Breakout Star of the Year alongside Billy Kay. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. It's a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. She is ready for a fight well, that tonight. Ain't good. Split leg drop. Come on, get up. Mickey, Ooh. don't fail. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Peyton Royce is able to get out of the way there. Good job. Him. That NXT Breakout Star of the Year award Michael brings up is something for Peyton to be proud of, especially when you look at who she and Billy Kay beat to take home the hardware. Yeah, there were certainly some big names there, but in the end, it was the iconic cover by the challenger. Hook them up. Yeah, we did it. Help Mickey James ward off retirement. They're now the new women's tag team champions. To win this match under the pressure they faced and do it in enemy territory under the Iconics rules is truly impressive. Honestly, I think a lot of credit goes to Red and her list. Someone said it before the match. That list is a powerful motivational tool for Red. Yeah, that someone was me, Corey. Nah, it couldn't have been you. It probably was Cole. Not too much to cross off the list now, is there? And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. She was now my tag team partner and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do. But hang on a second. Earlier, you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. What do you guys think? And let's just play it. Since Mickey James teamed with Red and won the tag team title, she's been riding an unexpected wave of success to avoid retirement. Tonight, she has the opportunity ow, to ow, continue ow. her winning streak ow. and become SmackDown Live Women's Champion if she can defeat Kyrie Sane. I know I've said it before, but I think tonight is the night Mickey's luck expires, especially without her partner Red to bail her out of any tough situations. Well, if tonight is truly the end of the line for Mickey. It has been one heck of a final run. Big reversal. Hold on. Delivered with force. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. The competition was fierce at the first ever May Young Classic. NXT stars, top international right. talent. Some former. All the way from the top rope. Ooh, good counter. 
When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Smooth-ass press! My God, Baron! Hurricane Set up for the side-rushing leg sweep! For the championship! Plenty of fight left. Oh, oh, could take more than that. Oh, look at scoop slam! Mickey James with a flourish of energy. She's right, able to on. turn it on at will. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. She can withstand the punishment, though. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ow. Again! Octopus stretch locked in. This might be it. Yeah, she does it. break out of it, but has the damage been done? There's the crucifix, nicely done. Pinning Kyrie, I'd say that's an insane endeavor. <laughs> I'd say you're right. Hurricane. Now back to the ring. Go behind. German suplex release. The champ to the top turnbuckle. From the top, elbow drop. Oh, solid contact there. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Not looking good right now. Oh, All right, come this on. This is going to be pretty. Watch this. Watch the athleticism here. Look at this amazing athleticism. Going for the home run. Look out. Oh, that's it. What a splash. The champ looking worn out. She needs to turn the tide here. She saw the opening and got the shoulder. Nothing but air on that one. She scores big with the counter. Loot that press. Come on. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Mickey James with a mick kick. All right, let's get this over with. Uh-oh. Oh, spiking DDT. Cover two. New champ. What? Wow. Done. Look out, more aerobatics on the way. Perched up top. Nobody home for that one. Double stop to the body. Not what she was looking for. Yeah, I'm winning. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. From the middle rope. And look at the quickness by Sane. And again, yet another counter. Oh, right to that gut. This is wrestling right here. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. She steers clear there. between the shoulders. No, please. 
Ah, my leg! Get off me. No, get off me. She's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Ooh, nice out cover by the champ. And an air ball. <laughs> I can't believe she kicked out there. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Here's the pin title on the line. The unbelievable yeah. streak continues. Mickey James is now one half of the tag team champions in your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Somehow, Mickey continues to defy the odds. It's like every time she's backed into a corner, she somehow finds a new way to escape. Congratulations, Mickey. You earned every bit of this. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun. But I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like McFoley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Yep. Yep. Let's do it. Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Uh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title. And I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will sooner rather than later, I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> You know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. Let's just get to ago, it. Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career tonight. After issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. If you ask me, Red's being incoming. What a spectacular move.
Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers helped make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. Back suplex. This one's about the Women's Championship, <laughs> and nothing means more to these women than that title. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Oh no. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> uh, oh. Superplex. Nasty kick to the face. Elbow drop. Piercing. The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Mickey James setting a frenetic pace. She's on the attack and on the move. I can only blame myself for that one. Been kicked right to the gut. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Nice calf kick, great elevation. A running swanton. DDT planet. Oh, again. I think we're about. Look at this. Really showing some. Acrobatic expertise here. Mickey James with an easy kick out. Hey, I guess you never know. All right, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this one on one match is for the championship. Do not change the channel, do not go to the fridge, text your friends. We may be witnessing history here. Wow. What a move. Mickey James was able to get out of there. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Remarkable. Watch out. No. Oh, ow. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh, look out. Splash. Oh, that hurt. Had it scouted. Whoa, it's another reversal. Look, Jack. Face first. The challenger is not in a great place. She's not riding to the occasion right now. Oh, this ain't looking good. Not reverses. Can she take advantage? Yet another count. What? It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Pretty much lost Rolling everything next in a few seconds. Soul kick. And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there, Michael. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Back drop suplex on a high angle right across the shoulders. So this match is showing on the champ. She's not rising to the occasion right now. All right, come on. Back suplex. A running swanton. She's looking relentless now. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Mickey James was able to get out of there. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Mickey James appears to be on her right. last legs. I'm sorry. Red hits the mid kick. Is this the end for Mickey James? 
It's all over Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end. Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute continuing to defend the tag championship and not ending your idol's career. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, yeah. Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.